Good morning and welcome back to City Line. Um, as you saw, Mr. Tibbetts over there uh, is fixing some exceptional, excellent uh, eggs. That's what we're going to call them, just eggs for this upcoming spring season. Um, with me now, I have somebody who I always love talking with. And yes, it is not Kid Rock on the couch, <laughs> but he does look familiar, doesn't he, though? We're talking about LeMay, America's Car Museum. This is their fabulous marketing manager, Mr. Jake Welk. Welcome back, Jake. Thank you for having me. It's great to see you again. It's great to have you. I, did I ask you if you watched Lawrence Welk? Yes, I think yeah. we've talked about that we did too. before. So last time you were <laughs> yeah. on, and it was in November, and I love that you reminded me of that. Um, November, it seems like it was decades ago. Yeah. So tell me what has been going on since yeah. I last saw you. It's weird. It, 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 like Time is moving at like warp speed right it now. It is. You know, we, Spring. We saw each other in November. Yeah. Since then, you know, when I was on the show back then, we talked about um, kind of our holiday drives mm -hmm. and some of the stuff we did. We had an, an excellent holiday season. Um, a lot of great community connections and um, really successful food and, and toy drive that we did. Um, and then we kind of had the end of our Porsche and, and Corvette exhibits, mm. um, which we kind of wrapped up recently too. Yes. So, so and, and um, Porsche and Corvette, I mean, that's kind of like the peanut butter and jelly of mm -hmm. cars. I mean, if you don't, if you don't know um, other cars that are more exotic, everybody knows a Porsche and everybody knows a Corvette. Did you have record breaking numbers for those? You know, it was a time in the museum history when people were really excited about what was going on. Yeah. Both of those exhibits sat next to each other upstairs in our showcase gallery. And like you said, um, you've kind of got that pinnacle like American sports car yeah. in Corvette. And then you've got, um, you know, that iconic international car in Porsche as well. And so we had two really excellent events that we ended both exhibits with, which went really well. We had... Um, Lon Helton from the um, National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky, come over. He was wow. um, and the uh, past chairman of the board. He's actually a National Country Hall of Fame um, radio star, which is really cool. So he came over and Who did a, a talk. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, and then just a couple weeks later, we finished our Porsche exhibit with this really cool live build kind of modification. It's called RWB. Um, had a huge audience for that. Really exciting event. So we kind of really capped off both those exhibits um, in high fashion, which was a lot of fun. In, in, in LeMay style fashion, yes. So, you got it. <laughs> what, so that got done, and, but knowing you, while that was up and working, you were, always, you were already working on what was happening next. Correct. So fill us in on where we are up to date. Yeah, so behind the scenes, while all this was going on, we were working on our next big exhibit, which is now live and on display as yes. of this weekend. Um, it is called Shinka. Shinka, that needs to be a t-shirt. It is ah, a t-shirt. There it is. <laughs> I've got it on. Okay, this is like one of those words that you teach your children that can mean a million things like stub your toe, ah, oh, Shinka. But Could. what does it mean? Yeah. So Shinka is a translation that means evolution or progress. Okay. Um, and what that basically means is our interpretation of that word when it relates to the exhibit is we wanted to create so for lack of a better term, Shinka is a, a Japanese automobile exhibit. It's okay. our most immersive exhibit to date. And the word Shinka, meaning evolution or progress, really we wanted to create an exhibit that showcased everything that Japanese automotive manufacturers have accomplished over the course of history. Um, and if you look at Japanese autos, it, it's changed the course of history forever. Oh, yeah. And the way that we drive and commute and what they've done for the automotive industry. And so... You know, when you look at, at evolution and progress, that's really what that means to us is kind of showcasing that that historical significance and that change that, that they created. I love that. So um, in terms of what Shinka means to the museum and to have it on display and have all of that come together, what does that mean to you here in Tacoma, Washington? Yeah, you know, it's it's really exciting. It's something that started, the, the concept started a long time ago, several years ago. Um, the actual putting things together has happened in the last six to eight months, but um, you know, it, it was a huge team effort and there was so many people that helped us accomplish this. And, you know, 
for the city of Tacoma, for us to have an exhibit of this stature here, um, it's really exciting. And so I think we feel really proud um, that we were able to bring something this special to, to our community here in oh, Tacoma. Yeah, absolutely. So it takes a village, as I keep saying throughout this segment. Let's talk about um, the people that have been showing up to this. You mentioned that this has an immersive aspect to mm -hmm. it. So what makes this so immersive and special compared to, let's say, the Porsche and Corvette? Yeah, you know, I mean, as iconic of those as those cars are, with Shinka specifically, we really wanted to take this exhibit to the next level as far as, you know, immersion, as you mentioned. Um, and the way that we did that is outside of the car specifically, we really went back to the drawing board and thought outside the box of ways to incorporate all sorts of different elements that stand with the cars in the exhibit. Um, we really wanted people to come in, guests to come in and experience. We wanted them being hit with multiple senses at once and, like and feeling that stimulation. Yes, like so, this. Okay, so tell us what does this have to do with cars? That is a six foot wide, handmade origami crane, Japanese crane oh. style, that was created um, as a, an art piece to go along with the vehicles. And so what you're seeing here is, is an example of some of the artistic elements that we have in the exhibit that go along with the cars. We didn't want Shinka to just be a car exhibit. We wanted it to be an homage to Japanese culture and, and heritage. And so here you see some wire, handmade wire bonsai trees. Oh. Um, you know, so these are things that we had these amazing artists come in and help us create some of these elements that really help bring Shinka to life outside yeah. of the cars. And I have to tell you, but and I want you to check my thinking here. I don't think I've seen LeMay do something like this that really, as you said, you thought outside the box and you brought art in. So mm -hmm. it's 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 almost it's 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 just a study guide almost of and since this art influenced life, life influenced the art in Japan this way. Right. Is this the first time we've had outside um, texture and art and wire that, that applies to a car movement like this? You know, for us specifically at the museum, this is something that we have never really done at this level before. Mm -hmm. um, when you talk about all of those different elements and the different materials and stuff like that, um, you know, and, and when you go back to it, what we really wanted to do was create an experience rather than just an exhibit. You know, yeah, that's what it really absolutely. comes down to. We want people coming in and leaving saying, wow, you know, I was moved by this. I was, you know, so here is another image. You walk in and it's almost like you're getting off um, an, an airplane or a train or oh, a subway, yeah. right? And so you're coming in and we have um, kind of this ambient subway noise, right? And Like a bullet train. Exactly. And then you, you walk in. This is the view of the, the lobby, but behind the photo, you walk in and, and you're greeted by Shinka with the big cherry tree and all that stuff. And um, so we wanted people to feel like you were kind of entering into Japan and, and wow. walking through the different areas of Japan and the culture and, and how it is like over there. Jake, you, I'm looking at this and... I'm realizing you had so many moving parts. I mean, even to, to looking at the, the Japanese lettering on the floor right. and knowing that you had to find a resource that would do that and it would, it would work out. You must be exhausted. <laughs> well, yes, I will say this. I mean, I played a small role in this when it comes to the whole team total. Mm -hmm. We had so many people that were involved in making this possible. Um, you know, from our internal team, that, that works with me at the museum and our volunteers to all of the people externally. We had so many different artists and, you know, there's 46 cars in the wow. exhibit total. All of those vehicles are sourced locally from local collectors. They're not part not of the museum. Yeah. Nope. Nope. They're all from the Pacific Northwest area. And so when you combine, you know, the car collectors, the artists, you know, the, the, the person who put those wire bonsai trees together, the, yes. the, the, the woman who made the crane, you know, all of these different elements. You know, my friend that I have who um, handmade us a cherry tree, right? These are these things that really help make the exhibit come to life. And we're really proud of, of that and, and so grateful to have the people who came in to help us do that for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. So last minute here, we got some, as you were saying, some thank yous that we sure. need to put out there. Who do we need to thank for, for touching every inch of this? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mentioned just a second ago, we had so many people that helped. 
um, you know, all the graphics, you know, this, the t-shirt, yeah. um, Glenn Mitsui, Mitsui Creative in Seattle. He's a, a brilliant graphic artist, um, worked on the Bruce Lee exhibit um, at the Wing Museum, um, has assisted us here with Shinka as well. Um, you know, it's people like him and some of our other, other artists that, you know, like I said, really just, you know, made this dream come to a reality that we've been working on for so long. So Exactly. And it, it, it's running. It just opened. When is it closing? It just opened. We opened Friday. We had 2,000 people in the museum this weekend. Whoa! So we, we're very excited that people are excited. You know, it feels good to have worked on something so long and to have, you know, such excitement to, to jump out the gates. Um, this exhibit will be on display for a full 12 months. Okay. So you'll have until March of next year to check oh, it out. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. Thank you for making our walk through this beautiful jewel of a museum so interesting and so fun and so authentic. And I want you back on the couch before summertime so we can talk about things for families in addition to this. Let's do it. This. We got a lot of stuff fun we coming do. up. Thank you. Good to see you. You too, love yeah. bug. Mr. Sean Tibbetts, are you ready during the break for me to kind of waltz over there and uh, ask you the infamous question, how long it takes to boil a hard egg? I would love for you to juggle these. Okay, here we go. We'll be right back <laughs> after this quick break. <laughs> 